Oh, the dreaded cart path only sign. It's that time of year again, golfers. It's November and we're stuck on the path. But before we start complaining and pouting like the spoiled golfers we are, it's only fair that we understand why we're faced with this reality once a year. We're stuck on the paths because our golf courses have just gone through the most epic transformation known to nature. Overseed. Hi, I'm Brady Wilson. I'm the general manager here at Auction Southern Dunes Golf Club, and let's go learn about overseeding. Overseeding happens every year, around October, November for some. In regions like Arizona, we play golf on two types of grass depending on what time of year it is. Bermuda grass in the warmer months, rye grass in the cooler months. Golfers want pristine green golf courses all year long, so courses have to swap out the type of grass they grow in order to keep us happy. The Bermuda base, it needs anywhere from 80 and above. The problem is, is when the nighttime lows start dropping in the 40s and whatnot, then it starts shutting down, and essentially it'll go dormant with the temperatures that we have in the winter time. So if we didn't overseed, you would be playing on grass that's browner than this. We'll put perennial rye down. Perennial rye, it's a cool season grass. It thrives in our winters with our temperatures, but it also loves the 60 degree days. That rye sits on top of the Bermuda, and you play on top of that into April and May. By going through the overseeding process, we'll have a green golf facility, a great playing facility year round. This is arguably the most important four weeks of our entire year. These guys love this time of year. This is what they practice and prepare for. It's game on for superintendents all across the state. It's their time to shine, but the pressure's on. If they screw it up, it affects the playing conditions for the entire rest of the golf season. I live for this time of the year. The first step that we'll do is we'll quit trying to promote the growth of the Bermuda. And we'll stop that two months prior to this event. Then we'll spray growth regulator, which will suppress the Bermuda. Over my shoulder is Wes. Wes is on our 300 gallon sprayer that's going to go out and spray the growth regulator to suppress the Bermuda from actively growing so then there's no competition when we do put down the ryegrass. As soon as our facility closes, we're gonna have all our mowers out and we're scalping. Scalping is dropping the mowers to a, a lower height where you're cutting it down almost to the crown of the plant, almost to the base of the plant. That's how we really open up the canopy so the seed has a good bed to lay in. As soon as we're done scalping all of the grass, then we are ready to essentially put seed down on the golf course. Inside just a four-day window, the Southern Dunes crew will drop 65,250 pounds of seed over 90 acres. And it's not just like they go out and throw seed everywhere. They have to be meticulous. If you double cover a section of ground with seed, it'll grow thicker in that area and look like a misspelled scrabble board. Dropping seed is an art form because you can't see where the seed has been dropped with the naked eye. And that's why we paint the lines so that the spread is even. Behind each tractor, we have a guy painting for where they're throwing. So once the guy makes a pass, he's gonna turn back around. So he needs to know where he's thrown to. We all move in unison with each other when we're seeding, and that kind of ensures that we get optimum coverage of the seed. And as soon as we start laying the seed down, then it's water. From the first time that we actually see our first leaf tissue to the first time that the golfers can play on it, we wanna strive for at least 15 days. I always just encourage golfers, give us six weeks and you're going to be really pleased with the product when you get there. From the before to the after, out here at True North on the Pinnacle Course with Mike Friend, you're going to show us a little bit about how you guys are growing and strong here. So yeah, a few more days left, but as you can see, the beautiful green striping, that ryegrass is coming in really nice. Let's go check it out. Getting out here on the fairway, you can really see this rye coming in. You know, if you take a look here closely, you can really see the difference between the two types of grass. The ryegrass is just a really thinner, taller blade, it stands up nice and tall. In the Bermuda, just thicker blades, and you can see the base there. I mean, really seeing this grass up close, you can tell why it's still pretty fragile this time of year. 
you're exactly right, Ryan, which is why we have a car path only restriction there when we open from overseeding. It was cool to get a hands-on view of the new ryegrass growing in. Have you ever seen a golf course with no divots on it? We fixed that real quick. Keep in mind that any course that's fresh out of overseed will have softer than normal playing conditions. Might want to try to pick the ball a little cleaner than you normally do. It's not hard to understand why cart path only is so important around November, but regardless if it makes sense to you or not, we have to deal with it. Here are a few tips to keep in mind so you don't miss a beat. First of all, Brady says it's a good excuse for grabbing a pull cart and walking the course. You know, cart path only during the month of November, it's a great opportunity to get out and be more active and just walk the golf course. The biggest things to remedy are yardages, pace, and club selection for shots you can't drive to in the fairway. Always bring a few extra clubs. Bring a rangefinder or use the free Troon app that has GPS. And always remember to bring along the sand and seed bottle. To keep a good pace of play, you and your cart buddy need to work as a team. When the first guy gets out and heads to his ball, the other guy should be advancing the golf cart further down the path. Just remember to always keep things moving. Oh, and one of the most annoying things for golf course superintendents is when golfers don't keep all four tires on the cart path. This time of year, they end up using more seed around the cart paths than any other place on the golf course. When you come out here in November, it's pretty deceiving because when you take a look down in the soil, that's what determines how strong the plant can be. I think all of us in the industry would hope that after you watch this piece, that everyone has a little bit more appreciation for what our guys do and respect for the golf course. And if that means you're consciously keeping all four wheels on the path during cart path only, boy, we sure would appreciate it. Perfect. And then we're done. Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs>